Skarloey storms through. In the summer, the high hills of Sodor are Skarloey's favorite place. There are flowers and forests and fields full of sheep and farmers who wave as Skaloe chuffs by. But in the winter, it's very different in the hills. There is rain and wind and sometimes there are bad storms. One rainy day, Skaloe was delivering cars of slate. He saw a farmer up ahead by the tracks. There's an emergency, he shouted. A big storm is coming. We have to get the sheep down from the hills. We need the engines to help. Skaloe wanted to help, so he puffed quickly away to the depot. He had to tell the other engines that there was an emergency. When Skaloe arrived at the depot, his friends Reneas and Peter Sam were there. So was Mr. Percival. Skaloe told him about the storm. First, said Mr. Percival, you must collect the freight cars and take them to the top of the hill. Then, pick up the sheep and bring them safely down the hill to the farmers. <coughs> yes, sir, peeped Reneas and Peter Sam. They couldn't wait to get started. As Skaloe was being uncoupled from the slate cars, there was a flash of lightning and a roar of thunder. Skaloe was scared of the thunder and lightning, but he didn't want to tell his friends. He didn't want to look silly. Reneas and Peter Sam blew their whistles bravely as they puffed off to collect their freight cars. Skaloe tooted his whistle as hard as he could, but it didn't sound very brave at all. The three little engines arrived at the bottom of the hill with their freight cars. Then there was an even louder roar of thunder. Skaloe's wheels wobbled. He was very frightened. Here I go, puffed Reneas, and he bravely chuffed up the hill. I'm coming too, tooted Peter Sam, and he puffed off bravely after his friend. Skaloe watched his friends disappear into the storm. He didn't feel as brave as the other engines. I'm too scared to go up the hill with them, Skaloe puffed quietly, and with a sad puff of steam, Skaloe reversed down a siding and hid. Skaloe waited. He hoped no one would see he wasn't helping. At last, Reneas and Peter Sam came down the hill. Their wagons were full of sheep. Skaloe watched the farmers unload the sheep. Then, Peter, Sam, and Reneas puffed back up the hill into the storm. They were being very brave. Skaloe felt bad. He wanted to help, but he was too scared. Peter, Sam, and Reneas worked very hard. They puffed up and down the hill, bringing sheep safely to the farmers. Then there was trouble. Peter, Sam, and Reneas had puffed up and down so many times, they both ran out of coal. Oh no, wished Reneas sadly. There are still more sheep up on the hill. What are we going to do, chuffed Peter, Sam. Skarloey looked at his two friends. They were very tired and very sad. Then he looked at the farmers. They were worried about the sheep. If a big engine like me is frightened of thunder, the little sheep must be very scared, Skaloe chuffed to himself. I wanted to help the sheep. I wanted to help the farmers. And I wanted to help my friends. But I haven't helped any of them. I've let them all down. He felt terrible. <laughs> 